Is that in D major? Now this is a demonstration and reminder of how you can practice. On your right hand, so first put it in the D major position, which is... Don't forget your F sharp, and make sure it's not in the middle, but it's one octave higher. So here, we have to count it as, according to the score, one and two and three and four and... So we keep our pinky longer like this. One and two and... Now make sure we don't play these notes too fast. We keep in rhythm. One and two and three and four and... And pay attention to the fact that you're not holding all the notes so that you won't have something like this. But one note at a time. Release your fingers right after. So one and two and release your fingers. It's important to practice like that. And three. So now for your left hand, very simply, here you just hold it one and two and hold it throughout. Extend your hand because your hand is big enough to uh, play an octave. Just one and two and like that. So when we match both hands, it's one and two and slowly finger by finger. This is the first portion. The second portion, you move into the D major position, which means F sharp, G, A, like this. And the fingers are playing essentially the same notes, but just different fingers. So the patterning is this. So they are all adjacent notes. Coming down. So how do we remember? All these are actually stepwise. You see, going up. Going stepwise down until your E. Then we do the skip a note trick, as in our class we mentioned. So here. So watch again now. Stepwise up, stepwise down one by one to E. Then we do our skip a note trick. The skip a note trick is five, three, one. So once again, stepwise up, stepwise down until E. Skip a note trick. Then we go back to this the same way, very clean, same thing, back to here, but this time we don't play the F sharp, so all the same here, all the way to E, but we don't play the F sharp, so the whole thing would be this. Rush, keep your tempo. Skip a note trick. Here. And finished.